Okay, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So Get out of my candy. Let me what? Please. Please. She's trying to get my sack. Hold on. What can do you want? Dude, let me look. It's no. just one, you fatty. Come on, just tell me. I don't know what there is. Just tell me a candy you like not. Let me see. Um uh, I'll see if there's one. Chips. No, I don't need chips. They would have been eaten. Um Yeah, you trying to uh, leave. What? Like, what do you mean? I bet your head. Ew! Is that sour? Oh, basically, today I'm gonna be doing a makeup collection. And it's kind I of just found the full straight posted up in my Twizzler. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm doing a makeup collection. Like I said, I haven't done one in like eight months, and I kind of got new makeup and I decluttered a lot. So like, yeah. I'm just gonna show you guys like my little setup, like an overview, just because that's kind of like a part of it, you know in the same house as my old makeup collection was filmed because we moved houses and like it's kind of like cluttered in my room so my stuff is really close together and it's just like not convenient this is kind of like my setup that's alexis she don't know how to clean her room so period um my drawers are all like broken they're all crooked you know the huge so wait do my my lens is crooked okay so right here is just my skincare basket i have this thing that i got from disney world so I just have like all my daily things. Um, you probably recognize some of this. This is just stuff I use like on a daily basis. I have my Polaroid and then I have my two candles and then I have this candle that I think I got. The fuck? And then I got, think I got this from Rite Aid. And then I have this face mask. This is like what I use the most so that's why it's there. And then I have my retainers. I have Herbalism which is just like this lush face product. And then right here I have this like little light up mirror. I got it from Costco from my friend last Christmas. And then I have two headbands I use. And then I have this big mirror that's my mom so I don't know where it is. Speaker, aloe vera, and then I have another mirror. And this I just have like my most used jewelry. This from a company that sent it to me. You can probably find one if you look up like LED mirror. I just have this lamp that I use for all my lighting. It's pretty convenient. And I just have random stuff. I have like necklaces, contact case, you know. First store, I just have really random things, like more jewelry and stuff. Down here, I have this moisturizer that I don't think I've ever used, but like, it's cute. I have Q-tips, um, my eye brushes, and then my face brushes. I like all different types of brands. The brand I like the most is Real Techniques, but like, we got the variety. Now onto my real makeup collection. I have the same organizers as I did last time. They're like really broken and they're all just like not good. I got them from Amazon, but like I'm probably gonna get more. So first I have my Anastasia Glow Kit and Sun Dipped. It's really nice. I don't use it that much no more. Up here I just have a variety of things. My chapstick that I use, I have lotion. I have like a bunch of setting sprays. I have the Milani Make It Dewy. I have the Mario Badescu Rose Walta. Uh, I have the Clinique. Um, I really don't use a lot of these anymore. I have this Witch Hazel by Thayer's, like it's like a tone of um, oh my god, anyways, I have this Max Fix Plus, it's coconut, and then I have this setting spray, I forgot I had this, and those are kind of all my sprays, my spot treatments, it's Mario Badescu Drying Lotion and the Body Shop Tea Tree Oil, I have some Muddy Body Mask, I have a lot of moisturizers, like I have this one, I have the Lubriderm. I have um, I have this Neutrogena one, I have this Pons one, I have the Dual Action, I have the Cetaphil that I use mostly, and then I have my toner, but I don't really use that much anymore. I have this lotion that I got for my birthday, I have this perfume, and then I have this perfume. This smells so good, it's from Victoria's Secret, but it's kind of expensive. This like curl enhancing smoothie by Herbal, wait, Shea Moisture. I just have my straightener and some towels on this side. So, I'm sorry if my camera keeps going out of focus. She don't know how to act right now. This is like all my like special makeup or whatever because I don't really wear makeup that much. But this is makeup I wear to our makeup and this is skincare. So, this is the stuff I use the most. Okay, so in the first drawer, I have just like, it's just a mix, you know. Better Skin Powder, Amorizi. I have two Professionals. This one's the pearl and this one's the regular. I have the Butter Bronzer. I have the Too Faced Hangover. I have like a bunch of mascaras in here like the Rocket Volume. I have this Becca Liquid Highlighter. I used to love this, um concealer for under my eyes i have the matte lock infallible primer the boing benefit concealer it's really good for like under eyes i have oh 
Laura Mercier. And I just have like little brushes that I got in a set. This is my bronzer brush. And then um, and then one of these is my powder brush. And one of them is a highlighter brush. So I have this powder. I haven't used it in a while actually. I have this Smashbox. I have Becca in Opal. I have the Lumi Glotion. And then I have just have some like beauty blenders. I have Rosebud Salve. I have the Master Prime right here. Colourpop highlighter and lunch money. This Amazonian. Oh. Where'd she go? This Amazonian concealer that I haven't used in a really long time. Oh, it's just like a bunch of random things. I don't really wear makeup that much anymore, so it's not really convenient for me. The second drawer is a little less cluttered. I just have Vaseline. I have this ABH dip brow pomade, but I just don't have a brush, so I never use it. This used to be my favorite chapstick, but like, I don't know, I just stopped using it. I have a bunch of concealers, like I have Tarte Shape Tape, the Naked Skin one. I just have some nail polish. This used to be my favorite mascara. This... This went with my bronzer. And then I'm pretty sure this is Champagne Pop. Optical Illusion CC Cream. I just have mirrors. And then I have this Great Lash Mascara. Red lipstick. And then I have my eyelash colors. More Rosewood Salve. And then another Rosewood Salve. But it's in like a different form. More Boing Concealer. And then I have another ABH like brow pomade thing. This is a ColourPop lip gloss. Their eyebrow gel. I have a bunch of spoolies and like stuff to put on eyelashes. And then... And then I have the Neutrogena Healthy Volume. This is actually a really good mascara if you don't want your makeup to look really like, like you know, you know. So yeah. And then top drawer is like my skincare that I don't use that much anymore, but it's like just there. It's like my favorite lip balm ever. It just like keeps your lips moisturized like all throughout night. It's perfect. I have Curology, and then I have another one right here. I have some some rosehip oil that I got a long time ago. This is an eye cream, and then I have the old Henriksen True Serum. This is a face oil by Shea Moisture. Some Bobbi Brown, and then I have like eyelash um, growth like oil more eye cream i don't really use eye cream anymore and then i just have a bunch of bags like full of my braces bands more rosehip oil this is like a gel for like acne but it never worked so i didn't use it i have the clinique um dramatically different gel i have this this was so expensive the drunk elephant virgin Maru marula luxury face oil this is so good it like it like renews your face, but I just don't like putting on oils on my face anymore. I have the Ordinary Rosehip Oil. I have a lot of rosehip oils just because like that's like my favorite type of oil to use. This is another eye cream. The Sunflower Oil. This works so good. It like... It like renews your skin, like really. Um, and then I have this Ultra Repair Cream. So that's kind of just stuff that I kind of just leave alone, but it's still there if I need it, you know? Okay, so now on to all these drawers. I'm not going to go that much into detail because that's just going to be too long and I'm already tired of talking. Okay, so the first drawer is just all my palettes. Take me back to Brazil. I have the Morphe Colorful Palette. It's like the 35B, I don't know. But it looks like that. It's really popular, but I don't think they sell it anymore. Modern Renaissance. I Did I say Renaissance? Sorry. Modern Renaissance. Renaissance. Yes. I have Tartlet, Toasted, Tartlet in Bloom. I have this NYX highlighter palette. Um, Carly Bible palette. I don't really use that. Um, I have Contour Cream Kit by Anastasia that I also don't use. I have the Sugar Glow Kit. I don't really use those because those are just like too light for my face. Like I don't like how they look. I have the NYX Ultimate Colorful Palette. And then I have this Glow Kit that's really old. Second drawer. This is my second drawer. It's kind of dusty. She ain't cute, but this like spilled everywhere and I was too lazy to pick it up. So she's just sitting there. She's all over this bottle, but this is a miracle leave-in spray. It's really nice, really cute, you know. It's really good for your hair. I just always forget to put it on. Uh, this pixie serum. Um, a lot of people asked why I had a knife in my last one and that's because I use it to like cut up packages or something. I have, I have eyelash glue and then I have eyelashes. I've been needing eyelashes for so long. I have this No 7, it's like a tinted moisturizer that I was supposed to use in a video, but I never did. It's Neutrogena, it's like a, another tinted moisturizer. I have these eyelashes, they're really natural. So then in the third drawer, this is all my face makeup. I have a lot of it just because like I was really obsessed with face makeup for a long time. So I'm going to start off with my primers. So um, this is a Soap and Glory primer. I never ended up using it, but I know it's like a pore filling primer. And then I have the Honey Do Me Up. I have the NYX Blur Stick. I remember when this was so popular and now, ew. And now I don't even use it, so. Other professional, cause this is like my favorite 
ever. I think those are all my primers. Now my foundations. I have the Lumi Cushion. This is actually the first foundation I ever got. But, like, not that one. It was a different one, but that's, like, the first type. I have the Healthy Elixir by CoverGirl. Wet n' Wild. I have the Infallible Pro Glow. Physicians Formula, the Healthy Foundation. Clean. I don't know what this is called. It's, like, the 24-hour. I don't even know. I have another It Cosmetics CC Cream, but this is, like, a shade darker, I think. Oh, my. She is about to break. She's about to break down. The Hello Flawless Foundation. I actually got this from Simply Nessa, and it's, like, way too dark for me, but it's by Benefit. Fenty Foundation, which is way too light on me, so I love that. The Born This Way, which I've never actually tried because I think it's going to be too dark, so I just haven't tried it. For concealers, I have the ColourPop No Filter Concealer a bunch of these i don't know why i have so many and i also have a lot of the fit me ones um other tart shape tape that i never opened i have a pixie one that i also never tried when this is another primer it's the it cosmetics bye bye pores um this was hella overhyped i don't know why i got it it was not even that good i have the born this way concealer and light nude this is actually really good i really like this concealer the pro conceal i have this is another amazonian one that i never opened this is a wet and wild concealer I think that's pretty much it for this drawer and then i have powders which i just have this one because the rest of my powders are in these drawers right there my fourth drawer this is also just a really random clutter i don't even know but this stuff is also stuff that i got in my pixie bags so like this is from my pixie bag it's a dr brand like a exfoliator so i have three of these like shea moisture moisturizers i never used them i just thought they were like really cute and this is when i had all the money in the world the radiance one this is the glow daily glow one and this is the sensitive skin. So these are all really cute. The one I've tried was this one. And it's like pretty good. It's like not something that I would wear as an everyday moisturizer. I have a lot of Carmexes just to like stack up. This Pixie skin tint which is trash. Don't ever get it. Pixie honestly it's for like those naturally pretty girls that don't need nothing on their skin. So this is also by Pixie. I'm pretty sure it's like a moisturizer or something. But I don't really like Pixie products. I feel like they make me break out. So I have this Milani blush. This is when everyone overhyped that blush. It's Pixie. I think it's like a bronzer. L'Oreal Sugar Scrub. This is actually really nice. I haven't used it in a long time though. This is Rose Hip Oil by Pixie. Like peach lipstick. Airspun Powder. Hula Bronzer. And then I have like just random little tools. Um, I have this NYX Butter Gloss. And then I have this Magic Light Lumi Primer. I have this Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. And then, let's see, back here. Here I have this ugly ass NYX, like, lip gloss, which was so ugly. I thought it was going to be way cuter. This Revlon lipstick. I remember when I first started makeup, I loved these. I just have this random Sephora brush. This is like a perfume roller. Um, what else is back here? That's pretty much it. This drawer is really cluttered. I never go in it. Also, I'm going to do a quick disclaimer because I know everybody's going to come for me because that's how... Everybody just loved doing that. So, I bought all this with my own money. I know I'm not spoiled. I bought this all with my own money. Um, this is all in my property. My mom doesn't spoil me. My mom takes care of herself. Also, for this next drawer, nobody gassed me. I was really obsessed with highlighters. And I was like, you'll never catch me a day without looking glowy. So, period. So, this is my highlighter drawer. I know it's a little bit crazy. I had an obsession, you know? Dual ended highlighter. It's really cool, but it's like just for like natural. It's like a liquid highlighter and just gives you like a little glow. I have this MAC highlighter in double gleam. And then I have e.l.f. I have this Laura Geller like stick highlighter. And then I have the TARDIS Pro liquid highlighter. Um, Marc Jacobs. This was in Dewdrops or whatever. It was like coconut. The Fenty Beauty Highlighter, which I was so excited when I got. I have it in, I think, the lightest color. This is what she looks like. It's so cute. I love this highlighter. Some NYX highlighters, and then this is another Laura Geller Illuminating Stick. Um, I have this Milk Makeup. It's like a stick highlighter. And then I have the Stila. It's one of those, like, what the... F I don't know what's on it, but it's like one of those putty highlighters where you can, like... You know, I have two of these Physicians Formula Butter Highlighters. This is the white one, and this is like the golden dark one. This NYX Halo Hollow, I don't even know. But it's like this glitter. Here, let me show you guys. Okay, so basically it's like this really like glittery substance. And it's not a highlighter because it's so trash. Like it's really patchy. It's not cute. So I really don't know the purpose of this product. But I mean, it looks cute. It's actually sent to me. It's like this Lancome highlighter. Um, really white, so I wasn't really a big fan. Uh, this is the Sephora palette. I don't know why I got this. It's like any other palette. Like, it's not really special. Um, 
I actually got this from one of those like ghetto stores in my mall. It's a beauty creation. It's like cake pops. These highlighters actually aren't that bad. They're just really like chalky. And I have the famous sleek makeup palette. You know, that's her. She's cute. I don't really use this anymore. I never really used it. I kind of just wanted it, you know. The Benefit Dandelion Twinkle. This is like a really subtle highlight, and I really liked it. I used it for a long time. Wet n Wild, Laura Geller. This is Tarte, I think. This is a Lorac. This is such a bad highlighter. I don't remember where I got it. Got this Becca, like, limited edition highlighter. It's so cute. I just never use it. Um, this is actually the first highlighter I got. It's the Becca Highlighter in Moonstone, and it's so light. I don't know why I got this. I have Milani, and then I have a Becca Liquid Highlighter, and I have another one over here. I have more Elf. I have the Cover FX Drops. These are in Moonlight, so sample of the Mary Luminizer. Um, I have a Mini Becca Highlighter, another ColourPop. Was it just me, or was that? Dang, sis is really broken. My eye drawer. This is just a bunch of NYX glitters. Like you can see them all over here. I just have a bunch of different colors, and then these I think are some JCat Beauty glitters. I know it's not on focus. So I just really don't care anymore. Mac like little shimmers. I have NYX glitter glue. I have a lot of mascaras in here. This is just like my eye drawer. So I have the Lash Princess. I have the Blink. I have some eyelashes. Oh, these are really pretty. Wow. I have the Lash Sensational. I have the Stila. It's like a glitter eyeshadow thing. I don't even know. I have this, it's like an eyeshadow base, and then I have the They're Real. I have the Benefit Roller Lash, and then I have another one of those Stila, like, another Healthy Volume Neutrogena Mascara. And then I have the Better Than Sex. I don't know why this is hyped so much, I really don't even like it that much. I have the TARDIS Pro, I don't know what this one is. It's like a push-up angel, I don't even know. Bright eyeliners, but I didn't even know how to do eyeliner. The Colossal, and then I have another Lash Paradise, because like I said, that was my favorite. BH, it's like a little eyebrow pencil. I never used it. With the rest of my little eyeliners, and then I have this little primer potion. I don't know, I just had a bunch of like eyeliners and stuff. I like collected them. And right here is kind of just like extra things. So I have razors, I have this exfoliator, and then I have this Moroccan oil for my hair. And I just have a bunch of like sheet masks. I don't know, I just really like sheet masks and I use them a lot, so. So this drawer is like kind of broken, as you can see, but um, whatever. I have micellar water, I have these pore strips, and I have another one of those face masks that is up there, right there. This is like my favorite face mask. I have this Soap and Glory, it's like a detox scrub, and then I have this cleanser that I really wanted to try but I never did. This is another charcoal mask. This is just like this coconut oil spray, I don't even remember why I got it. This is a charcoal mask. This is a bath bomb from Pink, and then this is The Ordinary. It's like this, I don't know, it was like peeling solution, but it was just really weird to me, so I didn't use it. This is the second to last drawer. This is more skincare stuff. This is a cucumber mask. This is a charcoal. I never tried these. I meant to, I just didn't. It's like Morning Burst Moisturizer. I don't really like it. It didn't really do anything for my skin. And then I just have a bunch of like sample things. I have this soothing cleansing milk and it's by Garnier. If you have like sensitive skin, then it works. But other than that, it doesn't really work. I used to be like obsessed with St. Ives um, scrubs. So I had a lot of these. This is the coconut and coffee one. I had another L'Oreal pure clay cleanser. I have this pixie cleanser. I have this clear pore like cleanser slash mask. This kills like pore mask. And then I have argan oil. I don't know. I feel like you could just use that for anything. Okay, so finally, the last drawer is more skincare. I have this Purity Cleanser, and I have this It Cosmetics Moisturizer, Herbidescu Silver Powder. I have a lot of Mario Badescu in here. Another St. Ives Scrub, and then I have this lotion because Desi Perkins said that it was good. Stairs Witch Hazel. This is just another one, like a refill. Serum, and then I have, I think this is like tanning lotion or something. I don't know. Heels Ultra Face Cream. And I have this thing for like hair that I never use, and then this is another... This is a moisturizer by Vino. Mario Badescu spray and the toner, and it's the aloe vera one, so. Okay, so that's the end of my makeup collection. I'm really tired of talking, and I'm kind of irritated because of these stupid drawers. But yeah, so that's everything in my makeup collection. I haven't really added to it in a long time because I haven't bought makeup in a really long time. Um, it's mostly skincare that I buy now, so I'll probably do an updated one in like a year. But a lot of people were requesting this, so I was like, why not?
but yeah that's my makeup collection i hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah bye